marinara sauce. This is so good, even with just garlic bread like this. Let me try it. Oh yeah, even with just regular pasta or the twisted pasta. This goes so good because it's just tomatoes with so the marinara sauce is just so, so perfect, right? You can even make it in sandwiches. So yep, let's start. Here's two cans of peeled tomatoes, olive oil, and two medium-sized onions, some garlic, of course, and dried chili. So yep, let's start. We'll start with olive oil, a hefty amount. It's about five to six spoons of olive oil. All right, there you go, that's good enough. I'm gonna turn on the stove to heat it up. And then once it's hot, yes, we drop in the diced onions. We make sure it's in low heat, this way it doesn't burn up the onions or doesn't brown it because it's gonna make it a bit bitter. So we just want it just right, like about just translucent, just, you know, just soaked up and cooked well. And then of course the foreclose with crushed garlic. Yes, we mix it good so that it get cooked evenly. Oh yeah, it's starting to smell good. Yes, mix it well. We keep mixing it this way, it's gonna cook evenly and nothing is gonna get burned up. Yes, make sure it's low heat and about add a pinch of salt. We're gonna salt this to taste, so you gotta check on that. Check the taste later. So mix it again, yes. This is gonna be really, really good marinara sauce. All right, now we get some crushed black pepper. Season it for now, just a bit. Yep. Mix it further. Just mean, you gotta keep mixing this so that you don't burn some certain ends or odds and places. So it cooks evenly. Yes. All right. Now the trick here is we spoon out the whole tomato peeled tomatoes like two or three and then crush it before I put the rest of the sauce. This way it cooks really well and gets all the good flavors into the pan. It's like it it semi fries it a bit. Now we crush it. This gives it an even more excellent flavor. Alright, now we pour in the rest of the sauce. Oh no, wait, there's two more tomatoes, sorry. Just crush that. Okay, no, no that, that, that's just sauce. We crush the tomatoes. Like the video, this way it helps the algorithm spread it to wider audience because there's more activities with more likes. So thank you for that. Yeah, all right. And subscribe if you haven't. This way you can check out all the other, other videos with you guys. All right. Thank you for that. And now we mix this good. And get the rest of the sauce in. Yep. There's one more can, so we gotta mix this well first. Okay, now here's still in low heat. We get the chunks of tomato, the peeled whole tomatoes first. There you go. And then we crush it. This way it's gonna taste really, really good and awesome. Yep. Keep crushing it good. And get the rest of the tomatoes. I think there's two more, three more. There you go. One more, yeah. We crush this good, and then the rest we pour in the sauce, the rest of the sauce. And again, this is still in low heat. We don't want burn, to burn this up or overcook it. So it's going to be in low heat. But this is about between 40 to 60 minutes cooking. So the longer you cook it, the longer it takes, the tastier it gets. Okay, the rest of the sauce. That's why they said you can cook it between 60 to 120 minutes. So that's one to two hours. But this is like around... 40 or 60 minutes. Yes, we keep going like this with low heat. 
Make sure everything is mixed up, including the bottom of the pan. All right. Yep, now we cover it for about 40 minutes. And then we check it later. Now we put the crushed black pepper again. This is 40 minutes later, it's been boiling. All right. If you don't put the cover and it's 40 minutes, it's gonna dry up. So you have to keep it covered good for 40 minutes earlier. Crush black pepper, all right, it's gonna be good. All right, some dried basil. Yep. Oh, wait, wait, let's put some more. Let's put some more. More dried basil. Okay, now some dried oregano. Yeah, it's starting to smell really good. Now we mix this good. As you can see, look, the sauce is getting thicker. It's more cooked. This is 40 minutes later. So we're going to cook this for another 20 minutes. So it's going to be a total of 60 minutes or one hour. This is going to be so, so good. As you can see, the sauce is starting to look really good, right? And pleasant. Now, this is my trick. It's a half a glass of white wine, a sparkling white wine. You can put water, that's okay. Okay, we'll keep mixing it. So you can see there's a half a cup of white wine or half a glass. You can actually just use water if you want, but this actually is uh, something that makes it this taste better. The marinara sauce is gonna be so, so good. Okay, now it's gonna be another 20 minutes now. Now it's we're tipping in one hour. As you can see, the sauce is starting to look really good. It's starting to secrete some oil, but hey, that's perfect. That's really just the olive oil and some of the oils coming out from the tomatoes because it's being cooked lo longer and slowly. Oh yeah, this is so, so good. Yep, now we, this is some dried chili. This is actually just regular red chili, but we haven't used it, so it dried up. So I just figured this is perfect as dried chili. There's four of them. We cut it like in pieces like this with the scissor to give it some good, 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 good flavor. Oh yeah, all right. Now we continue mixing this. Oh look, the sauce is starting to look really, really good. You can make a, a, a lot of this or you can make more of this and then the cooling down, you can put it in the jar. It lasts for at least about two weeks in the refrigerator. Maybe longer, but we haven't tried it because we just finished it. Oh, look at that. We turn off the heat. We're done after one hour. Oh, look at that sauce. The marinara sauce is like perfect. You see some chunks of chili. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah. This is good with just garlic bread and pasta. Yep. Okay, now let's take it to the table. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's try it with the garlic bread first. The pasta is there on the side. Let me try it. Oh, it broke the piece. Let's try this. Oh yeah, all right. Let's try it with the pasta. This is so good, it looks so good. It's gonna taste really good because I've done this before and the marinara sauce is just perfect. It's actually perfect even with just sandwiches. This is so good. So yep. Yeah. And of course, we're, next we're gonna be working on uh, some vodka sauce. And as soon as we finish that, it'll be on the end screen. But for now, you can just click here for the other good stuff. And yes, thanks for watching. Of course, subscribe if you haven't, so you can check the other videos from us.